Hey guys, uh, so we're going to get started today with Photopea, which is very similar to Adobe Photoshop. Um, there are some similar similarities as far as just the image setup. You're going to switch pixels to inches. Uh, you're also going to work in the same format, 8x10 or 10x8 when you set it up. It also gives you the option to drag. Um, here's an area that we're coming up to where we're using the magic wand tool, which we are familiar with already. And uh, the magic wand tool, it's, it's okay in Photopea. It's not as precise as Photoshop, but you can adjust the tolerance if you need to, if you need a more precise selection. I did a little bit of tweaking actually with the eraser tool. Uh, just kind of went in and kind of cleaned up the edges. Now one thing that is a little different from Photoshop is uh, when you're going into Chrome to find your images, you can just drag and drop a lot of images directly in because it is a web browser. Uh, you can also save images and uh, paste in uh, just how we would normally in class. But, um, you know, the drag and drop was relatively easy. Uh, you also have your marquee tools up at the top, which I am going to use uh, at one point to erase part of the moon. I just going to go ahead and draw a square around it delete that. Remember, anytime you're deleting something on your keypad, uh, you are going to just hit the delete key uh, on the keypad. Of course, I uh, had to add a Shrek in there. And to zoom in, it's basically the same thing. So if you're using a PC or Mac at home, it's Control Plus or Command Plus to zoom in. You can see here I'm using my home computer. Uh, so it is on a Mac, but uh, you can do this on uh, either computer, a Mac or a PC. Uh, now the move tool is also the same thing and you can see I'm moving Shrek around right here. Also, if I want to put Shrek further back or closer to us in this collage, remember you're going to go to the layer window and drag it up or down. Uh, the further down in the layer window, that means the further back it is in the image. Uh, the If it's up towards the top of the layer window, that means that it's gonna to be towards the front of the image. Okay, so now the transform tool, that is still Control T or Command T, and you can transform your image, you can transform the scale, you can skew it, uh, you can rotate it, do all kinds of fun stuff with the images. You can see I got my uh, chili ramen here, uh, which I've been stocking up on. Well, not really stocking up on, but I've been eating a lot during the quarantine. Uh, needed to add a little bit of video game element to this. So of course Halo, that was probably one of my favorite games, but recently been playing some Titanfall 2 um, and uh, been playing a few other games like NBA 2K. Uh, so not all work uh, here in the Robocker residence. But uh, of course, had to get my favorite Muppet in there. Got Kermit in there. I don't know if, Mu if Kermit is exactly my favorite Muppet, but he's definitely maybe top five. There's there's some other Muppets. If any of you have ever seen Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth has got some excellent uh, puppets in it. Um, and But if you're just gonna go to the classic ones, of course, Animal, Kermit, gotta go with those. Uh, and then the rest of this presentation is gonna have a lot of just me going in and dragging and dropping images in. Uh, going and using the selection tool, so quick selection tools uh, and the magic wand tools to select and delete areas around the images. Now I do go in here later in this project and I will say this whole project took me about maybe in real time 35 minutes or so and um, that's partially because I Ended up closing the browser three or four times. Uh, I did not think about this, but Photopea is browser-based. What that means for you guys, if you care, is that if you close your browser, you have now closed Photopea and all of the work you've done. So one of the things you're gonna definitely want to do is open Photopea in a browser and then open a separate browser, uh, another 
window of Chrome, if you're using Chrome, and then drag it in.